Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, I oh, oh yes, I like that. <laughs> Hola beauties, welcome to this bomb ass makeup tutorial. First things first, I am Ursula, AKA the Enhancer of Enhanced Beauty, and I have been hashtag enhanced by Crayon Case, Fenty Beauty, Juvia's Place, black owned makeup brand. It's the earrings. So this is a black girl magic makeup tutorial. In the midst of what's going on today, I want you all to know, if you don't already, I stand with my people. I wanted to acknowledge and give props to makeup brands that are not just black owned, but they are also owned by black females. Miss <laughs> Superset, Rihanna, Juvia's Place, I don't know the owner's name, but I do know that it's black owned. And this entire face was done with those products. This is a talk through makeup tutorial. I didn't want to do it because those tend to be longer, but I had to do it. With that being said, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can join the squad. Click your bell so you don't miss anything that I'm bringing to you. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you watch it until the end. It is a treat. And make sure you leave me a comment. Let me know exactly what you think of this look or what other looks you would like to see in the future. It's been a while since I've done a makeup tutorial. So without further ado, just sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. We'll begin with the crayon case. This is the brow pomade in dark brown. This is my first time using this pomade. This is my first time using any products from the crayon case. While I'm sitting here, I wanna just kinda chit chat with y'all. I'm looking right here to the right because my mirror is to the right. And I will try my hardest to keep my face in the frame so you can see. Mm. Very pigmented. I didn't have an angle brush, y'all. Okay, y'all, what I'm finding is this product dries very fast. All right, I'm gonna try and work this where y'all can see. Gotta be really, really quiet and focused when doing brows. Y'all know how we all have that one brow and then the one that's just like perfect, just like you want it. That's so why I always tell y'all, brows are sisters and not twins. Although we want them to be twins, you just have to get them as close as you can. I am going to clean up with Juvia's Place Concealer. This is number 12. I haven't done a makeup tutorial in so long and I just feel like, like I don't know what to do. Now I'm gonna clean up the top. This is also Juvia's Place. This is Namibia. I'm using the same Juvia's Place number 12 to do my lids as an eyeshadow primer. Back in March, I had made a purchase and I bought crayon case because one of my clients had asked me, have I ever used crayon case? And at that point, I've always wanted to order something. I wanted to get the bundle kit. Every time I would go on there, it was sold out, which I was getting irritated, but that's a good thing. She kind of told me a couple of things that she liked and what to get. I couldn't get concealer, it was sold out. I couldn't get the contour it was sold out. I got the chalk dust, which I'm about to set. 
this concealer with. It was included. I like that. Y'all know I am rocking hashtag enhanced. Get your shirt if you haven't gotten it already. Go to my website right here on the screen, www.enhancedbeautybyursula.com. Before I set, I wanna go ahead and make sure that the concealer is not creasing anywhere. Cause the last thing you want is to set your concealer with creases in it. I'm gonna take some of this chalk dust. Set this other eye. And what happens here is you're setting it so that your whatever colors you're using, it will help the color to pop on your lid. Back to the story. Over the last couple of months or so, we had some situations that happened. A situation, George Floyd, that sparked the Black Lives Matter movement. I mean, like to a whole nother level. So I decided I'm gonna do a Black Girl Magic makeup tutorial. I wanna use all black owned products and I want a bomb ass makeup tutorial. Then I decided that's what I was going to call it. And hey, black girl magic, I support the movement and hey, we just some bomb ass people. And that's what a lot of people can't deal with or can't stand, but I am using the Watch Me Blush eyeshadow palette. And if you have not used it before, these are the colors. I am a crayon cutie in this video. C-O-T-D, cutie of the day, the enhancer. I'm going to start with this color here and this is Cobbler. It's a light brown, so it's very, very light. So I'm going to work tangerine into the uh, transition color as well. Give it just a little bit more pigment. This is tangerine. Now, I am going to work cocoa, this color right here, into the crease. And I'm going to switch my brush. I'm going right into this crease. I'm gonna go ahead and mix hot cocoa and berries, the one right next to it. And y'all, I found myself these days more glued to CNN to just keep up on the current events. Sometimes I really just sit there like, I cannot believe all of this is happening. I really cannot believe Donald Trump is our president. We're living reality TV. Like, this is for real. I'm doing just a little semi-cut crease. And this is a technique that's used to see exactly how far up you need to go. You wanna get them as close as you can to look in the same. Now let's work on that outer V with the same hot cocoa and berries. Wanna blend it so you don't have a line of demarcation. Now, these are my shimmers that I could use on the lid. I think I wanna put just a little bit of color. I think I wanna go with, this is sweet tea on the inner lid, but I think I wanna add just a little bit of color and this is outsider. Gorgeous. And blend that out of you a little bit more. Y'all, the camera not doing it any justice. I'm gonna bring y'all in just a little bit closer so you can really see. Now blend out of each just a little bit. Now for the sweet tea. Ooh, do y'all see that? All right, come through, crayon case. This crayon cutie is coming through. 
And usually, y'all, when you wanna intensify that shimmer just a little bit more, you just wet your brush. But I didn't even have to do that. So now, this is the cutest. Add lashes, you get it? Add calculator lashes. Okay. These are by the crayon case as well. And these are the different lashes that comes in the case. I am going with the top ones. I love a thick, fluffy lash. I'm waiting for these lashes to kind of dry. I wanna take the time to tell you all, if you have never voted before in your life, I strongly encourage you to go vote. We have got to change things. We have the power to change it. So I strongly encourage you, get out there and vote. If you've never done it before, please, rock the vote. So now let's see what these lashes talking about. Whenever I put my lashes on, I lift up and downward. And I try to place them in the center as close to the lash line as possible. Nice, I like. Yeah, I like these lashes, but they seem like they are just going outward instead of up. I like my lashes curved up. Okay, and now I'm taking my loose leaf, my loose leaf wipes to clean up the fallout. I always have wipes on hand to clean up. I just like to clean up any fallout from the eyeshadow, but guess what? I didn't have any fallout from that eyeshadow. I got this off my hand and barely got this from right here. my foundation, Fenty Beauty. This is number 430. And I sampled 429 and 430. 429 was just a tad bit lighter. If you can see, that's what it looks like. Once again, we have the black girl magic going on to buff out my foundation. None other than Houston Hottie, Miss Vanity Throne. Sis say, real technique wasn't responding. So uh, she gonna do it herself. She gonna get out there and make her own foundation brush. I know I'm looking orange on camera, but you have to give it a chance to oxidize. Always bring your foundation down into your neck so you don't have that ugly line of demarcation. And it's Miss Visha. Vanity Throne is the business. Her name is not Vanity Throne. Blend into the ear as well. If you haven't gotten yours, get you one. Right, Y'all, it's time to set using my Chalk Dust Setting Powder. And this is Setting Powder in. Come back to this after I put the contour. This is my Fenty Beauty. This is Mocha Mommy. It's a bronzer powder. This is what it looks like. I'm not using any cream contour first. I like going in with just a powder now. A contour. And y'all know when you contour, you're bringing the color back into the face as well as slimming your face down. Go along the hairline. Jawline. This is where the slimming of the face comes in, right here on this jawline. 
If you have a makeup tutorial, you would like to see a certain look, please let me know down in the comments. And now what I wanna do is bronze. And I think I'll probably do it backwards because you could bronze first and then contour, but I take a fluffy brush and then I So I'm going to take my sponge and Carve out that contour just a little bit more. And I don't bake, so I am going to take it right off. I am going to use this cranberry color as my blush. Y'all see that? For the highlight, I am using and Glola by the Crayon Case. Let's see if it lives up to the hype. The handle of my brush broke off, but. Yes! Gotta hit the Cupid's bow. Now the bridge of the nose. That helps them out. Cause I like mine to go up, not out. Going under the lash line. Once you have your liner in your waterline, you can put a little color under your lash line. You don't have to put a lot of color. You could do just the brown. I am going to put a little bit of this hot cocoa and a little bit of berries. I'm just setting with the setting spray. Then I'm going to take my brush and just kind of dab that setting spray in. I found this gives it a flawless finish. And then I am going to do my lower lash line, my lower lashes. Have all of these to choose from. I don't know which one I wanna do. We have Weed Act, Crawfish, Fruits, Graveyard, and Gumbo. I am going to outline with Gumbo, and then I am going to fill with Fussy by Fenty. Okay, I really needed a lighter color on the inside, so I definitely have to go to Crayon Case and get me a, a nude color. I love the matte lips because you could throw a gloss over them. Hold tight and I'll be right back. This face is beat to the gods. So I wanna thank you for joining me for this bomb ass makeup tutorial. I told you, it is definitely the bomb. Make sure you cop your hashtag Enhanced T-shirt. Go to www.enhancedbeautybyursula.com. Just $20. Even if you haven't been enhanced by the enhancer, your support is greatly appreciated. Remember to stay home, stay safe, and most of all, stay poppin'. I will see each of you in the next video. Adios.